AI is taking over the world. A marvel of artificial intelligence. But how is AI different? Everyone is talking about the AI and AI, whether it is news channel, article or YouTube videos. Have you ever wondered how these AI models work? How do they process the information and make decisions? Well, you are in luck. In this video, we are going to explore how does the AI model work and we will break down each step so that you can understand it properly. To understand how does the AI model work, first we need to talk about the neural network. Think of the neural network as the foundation stone of the AI. They are inspired by the human brains which consist of interconnected nodes called the artificial neurons. These artificial neurons are organized into layers and they transmit and process the information from one layer to another layer. This neural network is similar to the neurons in the human brains which are responsible for sending and receiving the information or data from one part of the brain to the other part. When we feed the data into the AI model, it starts with the input layer. The input layer is the very first layer of any AI model which receives the input from the user. That input can be present in any form that can be audio, video, text or it can be a sensor reading. The AI model then processes the input information to the multiple layers of the AI model where the magic cat happens. Within these hidden layers, the AI model adjusts the set of parameters called weight and biases. Think of the weight and biases are some set of settings that the AI model uses to increase the performance of the model. The model learns from the data by adjusting the weight and biases to minimize the difference between the predicate output and the actual output. To measure the difference between the predicate and the actual output, we use something called the loss function. The loss function is used to calculate the error between the predicate output and the true output or the actual output. The goal of the AI model is to minimize the difference between the actual output and the predicate output by adjusting the weight and biases. We call it the self-learning. Till now, we have understood how does this AI model takes input and process the input and how this AI model minimize the error with the help of loss function. Now here is the interesting part that is training the AI model. During the training process, the model is presented with a large amount of data set. The data set contains the input as well as the correct output or label. These AI models go through this data set multiple times to improve its performance and predictions. Once the AI model is trained, then we move to the next phase of the AI model that is testing. In the testing phase, we evaluate the model performance on new and unseen data. By measuring its accuracy and other performance matrices, we can evaluate how well the model has learned and how effectively it is making the predictions and provide the output. AI models have numerous applications across various fields. They can be used in image recognition, natural language processing, autonomous vehicles and much more. The power of AI model lie in their ability to analyze the vast amount of data and provide the patterns and insights from that particular data. And that brings us to the end of the today's video. We have explored the basics of how the AI model work. Remember that AI models are not magical beings. They are just sophisticated algorithms that learn from the data. They have the potential to revolutionize the way we work and live. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching this video. I will catch you up in the next one.